What's up, you guys? It's Nate Barone here. Just letting you know that if you're in Los Angeles, this Sunday, September 29th, myself and Eric Rahill are hosting a show at Permanent Records that Sunday, September 29th. We got a great fucking comedy show for you all. We got Mo Welch on the lineup. We got Kate O'Connor. We got Chris Fleming. It's going to be an unforgettable night. Link in the show notes and get that ass out to a comedy show this week. You deserve it. And without further ado, enjoy this fucking crazy ass episode of Joy Tactics. Welcome to Joy Tactics, the podcast dedicated to all things joyful, joyous, and meeting as many celebrities as humanly possible. Hosted by Eric Rahill, Nate Veroni, and Jack Bensinger. Enjoy. Okay, real start, real start, ready? What are we talking about? Theft? Thieves? Theft. The no sh- <laughs> The notious nature of thieves. The notious nature. <laughs> what does notious even mean? I don't know. But of I'm notion. T- I can't say notion anymore. I can't say it. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically. The notious nature of thieves. Baby, you got something in your nose. Sniffing that K won't fill the hole. Now you got <laughs> something on. Now, baby, you got something in your mouth. Uh, steak what? that I made you for Valentine's night. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Do you like warm red wine? Pouring you a glass. You better like that shit. Giving you a little bit of kisses. <laughs> Do I you got, like I, those? Do you want a hug? <laughs> Get you a caterpillar right, nightlight for the crib. Enough, enough. Okay, enough. sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, today we're talking about a serious thing: theft. Put it back, man. Thievery. Put it back. Put, it Put that down, shit back. Unless, man. Would you steal a loaf of bread to f- feed your family? Aladdin. Aladdin, would you? <laughs> what if you're stealing it from of a family it. who needs bread even more than you? You don't realize. I don't know. I don't know. Thievery. Stealing. This reminds me of plagiarism. Oh, wow. That's another episode. And actually, I can't talk about that until my lawsuit clears. Mental (laughs) thievery. I've been mentally thieved in ways (laughs) that would make your head spin. Ever heard of Abbott Elementary? <laughs> Eric, your nose was completely clear. We spoke for like forty-five minutes before this started. Right when we started rolling, it sounds like you just maybe right. you got something in your nose. <laughs> well, um, I've had a pr- pretty rowdy weekend. That's all I'll say. I'm not sick. I'll just put it like that. Oh, you see what I say? You see what I mean? Yeah, uh, don't say no more. Uh, that's all I need to say. Percocets and some tests. Packs my art and vibe. What you want? What you need? Remember that <laughs> little white oxy cotton Xanax I, bars. Yeah. Wait. What's the what's the beatbox? What's the beatbox one? The the waiter. The guy. The uh, Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Doing damn. Johnson that's one of the best Johnson videos in the, the world. baby face monster. I'm the baby face <laughs> monster. Everybody in the like New Mexico restaurant. Yeah. Eating the clams with linguine. Linguicious clams. clams. Yo. I have no idea what's going on right now. Not <laughs> really <laughs> zero clue. Well, because no we're idea. going at stream of consciousness speed, which apparently I mean, you're sick, so you can't keep up, but stream. we're going galactic speed. Um, the first time I ha- ever had linguine and clams, I'll just put it like this. I was like, get these shells out of this thing. Why don't you put – yeah, how about you give me linguine and clams but take these stinky shells out of here, these hard shells? Yeah, scoop it out. Put it in there. I don't want a fucking plate full of cl- clam shells. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah. Were you – Eric, can I stop you there? Were you hoping that one of us would ask you, when was the first time you had Nah, because you wouldn't – because that would be name dropping then. Then I'd have to say the celebrities I was sitting with, and I wouldn't want to do that to you guys. J-Lo – I'm tired uh, of linguinis and clams. I want linguistics and classes and and classmates. And I want class, that. And classism. <laughs> linguistics. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm starting uh, to get. I'm starting to become an enemy of celebrities. You know, we set out on this adventure well, to talk to as many celebrities as humanly possible. Well, they're under attack right now with the Diddy party, the freak well, offs. Oh, and guess who I saw at a party this week? Guess who was Diddy's at a party? Who? 
No, but one of Diddy's exes. Fonsworth Bentley. One of Diddy's exes. Jennifer Action Lowe. Action Bronson. Pez. Your <gasps> ex co-star. J Lo, my ex coin master commercial coin uh, co star. You mean Yo, now you got so, I've n- you got something attached to your beard. There's a right, string. Really? Hang, there's a string. You got something on your beard. Thing. I think Maybe you got, got a crumb on shit. your beard. Look at that dang. That's a long take list. That fuck is that? Take that shit off. I'm gonna keep it. Oh. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. It fell off naturally. <laughs> uh, Nate likes to sleep on the couch, but t- he takes the cushions off of the bottom first. So you could roll around in the pennies. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My beard like can really it's like a magnet. It's like a vel it's like velcro. You know how you, you like have some velcro shoes or something like that and you rip it off and there's just all this shit like that's just like stuck to it. Crumbs and shit. There. You're talking about velcrotic that's, shoes. <laughs> yes. That is like my velcroticism. <laughs> <laughs> a policy which was laughed at throughout the 90s and treated as such for children. Yet here we are in the modern age where everybody's wearing slip-on Louis Vuittons and Crocs. Wow. Yo, that girl was being velcrotic to me. She wouldn't, st- uh, you know, back off. Right. <laughs> she velcrotic was attaching notions. herself. <laughs> velcrotic. Right. Uh, going to a spelling bee as a kid. Spell this. <laughs> Actually, I have my own word I'd like to spell and submit. Velcrotic. Webster. <laughs> V-E-L-C-R-O-T-I-C Did I get it right? V-E-L- V-E-L-T It's not a word Nobody it's not, it's, You could make up the spelling <laughs> There's no T in it oh, At the end Velcratic 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 That sounds like a liquor A new liquor Velcratic Velcrati. liquors oh. Liquor that comes liquors. in like a comes like in a fabric that's soaked in it you gotta squeeze it in your mouth you gotta squeeze it out of a penny out of a penny jersey oh shit dude yeah we should get the adhesive alcohol strips you know what i'm saying right no that would be a new phenomenon i bought zen last night chill style milligram chill three milligram zins i had two in a row this is the you're you're you realize it's 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 all downhill from here eric right and I it's, had a cigarette today. You're a, Eric. Dude, jealous. You are a jealous for life. You are doomed, man. I hate to hear that. I really no, hate to No, I'm hear not that. jealous. I'm worried, Eric. There's nothing to be worried about, man. I'm doing great. I'm jealous of God because he's going to get to chill with you soon unless Satan prefers your company. I know. Yeah. <laughs> with what you're up to. I'm down. I'm just down to go. It's like uh, it's, it's time to go. It's not, but you have responsibility. You'd be satisfied man. with what you've done. How many more times can I order delivery and watch fucking <laughs> British British crime shows on Amazon Prime? Dude, you can. It if brings me so much joy, not, but it's I'm getting to the end of my rope. You have Literally. one. You have one reason that anybody anybody who wants to do the deed on themselves know this: you're not done paying taxes, and you have to continue to live to contribute. That if that doesn't keep Eric, you going, I don't know what does. I feel like Eric, your whole life is like you're you're you are built to live in a nursing home, to thrive in a nursing home. Mm. You mean sexually? In I didn't say that, but I I would mm. um, actually agree. Yeah, something tells me Nate that you're gonna be throwing it down young in the nursing home at about sixty one. <laughs> I, I remember because I, I used to have to go sit. I used to go, have to go sing at those nursing homes. There, there was like everybody was like eighty, ninety plus. But one guy was like sixty, and I think he might have had ALS or something. But he was sixty and still with it. And I was like, "Damn, he's up in here all young." You know, he, what he might be. Because I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be the youngest person to ever get in one. If I could get in right now and get accepted now, because <laughs> remember those fourteen year olds that would go to college because they're savants, right? If they see me right. rolling around in there, what's oh. his deal? He's just totally like way ahead of his class. He's like yeah, he's 80 so in the brain. Smart. Eating vanilla pudding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you got in there young, you would be clapping that shit for life. <laughs> it would be, it would be a problem, dude. It would be like, could you imagine like blowing a back out in the nursing home? Blowing I mean, out you the final li- back. You literally, might be. <laughs> <laughs> I w- I remember. Um, do you guys know who John Lurie, L- John Lurie is? 
director. Yes. From the Lounge Lizards. He's an actor. He's a musician. I read his book and he had, he like hooked up with like a 60 year or a 50 year old woman that worked at the place that he was living at or something mm-hmm. in like the 70s. Mm-hmm. And he's writing about it because now he's like 60 or almost 70 himself. And he's like, damn, if that woman's still around, that means she's like 100 years old. It's, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, just he's like t- writing about it. He's like, that's crazy. If I hooked up with someone that was over 100, that feels insane. You know what I mean? Imagine that. You hook up with someone <laughs> and then, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. It's just like a funny thing to write in a book. Right. Well, he's a real one. He doesn't hold back (laughs) uh, thoughts that could be judged uh, by others. You know? Oh yeah. No more judgment. Didn't you say that there was, I feel like the last episode or a few more, you were the end of judgment. It's judgment day. uh, The era that we are in (laughs) that I'm in is the end of judgment. I don't judge anybody. And if anybody judges me, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) How many fireball shots have you had today? Dude, I am a little fucked up <laughs> from this from this barbecue. Uh, so, Sapporo, ice cold Sapporo, and then Manila. Oh, we don't do Sapporo crossing. anymore, dude. I forgot to tell you. Why? Why? Well, there's been some horrible anti-worker activity at one of their facilities, dude. Do I look like I give a fuck? That shit tastes good. <laughs> All right. You're right. That's me walking up to the... Uh, Walking up to the Canada Goose Factory. What somebody else was saying that the I got a Peroni. Somebody somebody in the comments was like Peronis are bad or Dude, everything's reasons, bad these days. You can't make something in the world. The, spoiler alert. You can't make anything in the world because without the secret ingredient. You know what that is? Evilicity. Pain. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joy wouldn't feel so that's good if it wasn't for pain. Hasn't, who said? Who's right, saying that's that? That's why our podcast hasn't. Um, Evanescence. Fifty Fifty Cent. Oh my God! Of course. Fifty's having a whole a heyday with this shit. Is wasn't he like anti Diddy his whole life? Oh really? Interesting. Yeah, I think so. Like he was like he's been like talking shit about him for just decades. Wow, he's the fucking not Matt Stoney. Uh, who's the guy that Edward Snowden? He's that fucking Edward Snowden of of uh, the rap Epstein. What did Edward Snowden do? He's like that. He's a whistleblower. He's, He's in the NSA. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Cat Williams. Cat uh, Williams. The, the, a lot of the the his stand up and like his interview at the Club Shay, where he's talking about all this. So that I, I feel like. Cat Williams. Has there been another thing that uh, that was cited in that interview that like came true? Like he's like the modern day Nostradamus in a way, but it's like closer to, you know, he he doesn't see way into the future. He just sees like in like six month periods. He's I think like he said he called the Biden term. thing. He called Kamala. He called Biden dropping out. He said after Don't the first play debate. Don't fucking Cat Williams, dude. He know he he's connected to something that that is greater than the that then the then our consciousness you know wi-fi you think so i think so well should i say why we're talking about thievery today or yeah I'll drop it, it. T- let everybody know please well um last night my car was stolen just let that sink in not the prius not the 2010 prius <laughs> <laughs> and so the, but, they got they got the damn prius dude that's a but hell it, not for me i guess good news it was recovered uh mm-hmm. uh earlier today um so yeah i just gotta go pick it up from the towing facility but i gotta pay money to fucking to the tow people really oh, they get you no. at every fucking oh they nickel the a dime yeah jesus christ man are you going to leave the Chingy me? CD in the fucking CD player? <laughs> <laughs> steal, the, steal a car with a mix CD in your pocket so you can fucking go crazy. Are you going to pay with pennies? You got to do that. Oh, oh I've seen I forgot about that fucking I've move, seen dude. that shit. I forgot that that existed, dude. Yes. Do hay pennies still exist as a currency? Like, is that what legal? What the fuck though? is that? It's like, I think a half a penny. Or, a hay right? penny? 
Yeah. You could go to hey, another Jenny. Like, yeah. What was that, Eric? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> hey, mama, but, hey, Penny. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I don't know what I could be so allergic uh, to. This is crazy. Maybe you're sobering up and your body is like. I'm not so. I definitely not sobering up. <laughs> I'm so back on. I'm so back on beer. That shit. Um, <laughs> what kind of beer did you drink today, Eric? Oh, I told you, Sapporo. My bad. Modelo. I just am so good at forgetting stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't want to bypass have- this. The stolen car, though, that's the main thing of this episode. What? Walk us through the emotions. Walk us through what you're feeling. That's not okay. Don't talk so about that for enough. okay, yeah, you're 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 right. We as men need to talk about this more. Thank you. Um, so this morning I was. Oh, this is funny. So I. So this morning my girlfriend discovered that the car was missing, and it was kind of a you know a, a fearful moment what the hell happened you know yeah. like uh, there's a lot of confusion and then we kind of were just settled on okay it's been stolen and like what are the next steps so i'm like you know probably like 15 minutes into my waking state and this is like probably 7 30 in the morning and i'm just out of it and i call so you know you first have to you know get the insurance claim involved and you have to file a police report so i call the police and they're asking me for a certain i like uh to you know spell out something and make sure the letters are right you know when you say like okay it's like b as in boy and Mm -hmm. i was on the phone and i said l as in lick and g (laughs) as in good (laughs) and (laughs) <laughs> and I was like, I can't believe like Rick, Jane yeah. was in the other room and it kind of <laughs> broke the tension of the moment and it was just like a very uh, ridiculous moment. It was what you call a humorous <laughs> moment. It was a humorous moment. And wow, what what power we have as, as uh, humorous and comedians. And this was an unintentional one as well. One well, of the most what? beautiful moments you could possibly imagine. Sometimes when you're in the darkest place, that's when light has the most power. Mm. Wow! Yep. Unless Say that you're again, Jack. Sometimes Say when it. you're in the darkest place, again. sometimes the oh fuck. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. well, I got it. I got it. Sometimes when you're in the <laughs> darkest place, that's when light matters the most. Something. Well, it has the no. It has the most power. That's what it I was mean. literally power. said three seconds ago. How do we not? <laughs> I just. I have some other breaking news. I've got. I drove seven hours. I'm hungover. I probably had. I dude, I'm not kidding. Potentially nine drinks. Potentially up to nine drinks last night. Yeah, walk us through so, every drink. How many Miller so Highlights? With, so right now I'm doing a podcast with Jack. You're hungover as fuck, Eric. You're fucking faded as shit right now. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you're sick. Uh, hey, I'm yeah. sick. Oh yeah, but I'm sick as well. The, so I parked the car on the street. Got pretty lucky actually there. Seven hours, pissed off as all hell at this damn traffic, straight into the pod, and yet look at how gleeful I am. Right, See, I'm I, astounded, honestly. Right, right, right. Well, you uh, took Joe's car? Just, yeah, Dr. Joe Friedman. What'd you listen well, why to are you on so the way down? Many things, many amazing things. I did the AI guy, the AI DJ on Spotify. That was pretty fun. Hey, hey, Eric. Oh, It's DJ, dude. it's X. I Hello. fucking do you know this new AI tool that's like LMN Google or something like that? Have you heard of this? No, or, sir. It's it's like I don't know one of an offshoot of Google's AI developments. I don't even know what the fuck it is. But anyways, you can like upload like five. Apparently, this is what I saw. You like upload like five chapters of of like a book. And then it can like either write the whole thing or like summarize it, give you like bullet points. It's like that kind of thing. So I, I was just experimenting and I dropped in the PDF to this script that I'm working on Mm. and it made an entire like 15 minute podcast with two people talking in depth about the script. And it was like, 
I'm not kidding you. I was like shocked. Like the AI voices are so good. The back and forth is like, and they totally like got every part of it. Maybe like better than I did. Like I was like, this is crazy. So what you're saying is our, uh, cause I, I, I see the impulse to be afraid of that as creators. But what I would say is as vessels and vehicles for creativity to re-enter the universe through us, we have simply grasped another tool to make that, to expedite that process. Agreeing? Right. Agreeing. Right. I think just listening to you say how you're saying that and listening to how I talk during this, this podcast will be so easy to replicate because <laughs> sentences don't have to string together fully. Words don't have to be fully norm normalized English. But isn't well, that where the quarters. difficulty will come in for the uh, algorithm? I agree with Jack. Well, I agree with Jack. Are you saying we'll be we're one of the last podcasts, dude. Well, try drawing a square versus drawing a square with many ridges on it. Right. Right. Yeah. No, I think we're going to be, That's I think right. I've said this before, we're going to be the last three people with jobs in the world because they can't possibly like do what we do. Everyone will be living in wow. the utopia and they'll be needing joy tactics yet these robots these humanoids these ai these super conscious creatures that we've created can't possibly replicate it so we're going to be the only people that have jobs in the future we're going to be the last three people right is that but a that's good only, thing? this is only part of our income the other part of it's going to be kind of polishing off the robots dingalings <laughs> and, yeah. the, and the whole, whole robot clubs making robot fucking juices and <laughs> the robot gl glory hole that's not funny <laughs> it's not funny i mean it's hilarious is what it is it's so new it's so groundbreaking to be thinking about that <sighs> why do they call it the glory hole <coughs> never mind so with regards to theft Are we, uh, Nate? Is it okay if we explore this topic? <laughs> it's I. I think so legally. I don't. I don't think I have any pressures or okay. obligations to just emotionally well, you could not, not discuss it. There's so many things you can steal. You could steal uh, a car. You could steal hearts, right? You could steal someone else's heart if you charm them enough. You could steal. A look from a friend in a conversation where you guys are the only ones on the same page and you're kind of laughing at something else someone someone else is saying steal a look and have a little close moment you know what I'm talking about yes mm -hmm. you can steal valor what we're saying Stolen is that valor. one word that, can have many definitions right that's what we you mean. can steal a base in baseball you can steal um, Shohei a style. cookie which is just another example of regular stealing. From you the could cookie steal jar. Apple gum. You could steal. I had my car broken into. Remember that? That was in Virginia, and I never told you guys because I didn't want. I didn't want you to be afraid for my life. But yeah, I was at a park one time. Really. I was probably twelve hours into the forty-eight hour film festival of Baltimore, and we were filming at a creek. At a park, and yes, yeah, for somebody a music video, or was this? Huh. Was this like a long time ago? Or? Yeah, this was many, many, many years ago. I think I was in school in North Carolina at the time, perhaps. And dude, somebody broke into the car, and I thought, oh no, they took something that I had, that was a very valuable possession of mine. It it was a shirt from the movie Your Highness that David Gordon Green came to school in North Carolina to show it to us and talk about how depressed he was and how he didn't want to make comedies anymore uh, and how he's kind of been <laughs> financially trapped and working with these fuckers. Um, but guess what? They didn't take that shirt. Mm -hmm. Good. What'd they, mm -hmm. what'd they take? Wow. I think they took some shoes and an empty camera bag. And wow. That's it. Do you yeah, know David Gordon this. Green just came out with a... He was at TIFF this year with a, a new, like, Ben Stiller movie. What's oh, that yeah, about? right. Drum circles? I think it's, like, kind of like a... Uh, I, I don't know if it's a comedy, but 
it, it was it, i think it did really well there like people liked it a lot i'm excited to see it shout out tiff shout out just every movie that's getting snatched up right now for distribution rights like <laughs> Yeah, shout out to IP, by the yeah. way, and shout out to licensing and things that are in perpetuity. Of course, I have to re- respect those. If something's in perpetuity, perpetuity, perp- perpetual, perpetuity. Perpetu- <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of perpetual. Perpetual Here's motion device. S- yes. Yeah. Oh. Here's my question. In the new, in this new digital media landscape. Right. Open your eyes. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> You're too scared. You're too afraid to face it head on. <laughs> In this new digital media landscape, do we even need the distributors? Do we even need these hey, gatekeepers? Um, Are we our own distribution uh, uh, surrogate? Yes. Masses. We have the we have the audience right now. Dude, I know we have over. A we're no, getting, man, we're getting a thousand plus views on every fucking right. Episode, it's too hard, dude. Dude, but we can't do this without the distributors. <laughs> what we do with this podcast, if you don't know, is we send this to HBO. They then put it back. They post it on Patreon and YouTube right. and RSS. Right, right, right. It's not that simple. <laughs> we need them. If we got I'm the so chance sorry. to make oh, a. S- a smart list style you know got an actual tv show the joy tactic show it's not like a narrative show it's like has to be about the podcast what the fuck would we do dude imagine a podcast called dumb list Enough, enough, enough. Respect to them. Respect (laughs) Respect to Smartless. You know what I'm remembering? Remember, oh, this will give you joy. Remember that YouTube video? What's it called? It's that like a comedy show where they've got like a barn on stage and the guy, there's like a couple of audience participators on stage and they they have to get bonked on the head with like a pool noodle and the performers on stage can't stop laughing with the audience is like what the fuck is going on why is why is these guys on stage laughing so much and then they put the mic in front of that one guy's mouth and he's laughing and he's going like this oh you oh you and then the whole audience starts laughing and no. that's just no. pure that's pure well but do you know that youtube video where the guy uh, it's a news blooper and they're at some type of animal conference i've been to many of these Mm-hmm. And they're interviewing a <laughs> farmer, and there's these all these geese or chickens or something in the background, chicken, different chickens, mm-hmm. and the guy starts laughing at something, and he starts doing like a <laughs> like a donkey inhale laugh, and it gets all the fucking geese or chickens to start cooing, and then that <laughs> makes him laugh harder. That's beautiful. So that's funny too. If you have a weird, if you have a fucking weird laugh and you're embarrassed about it, just know if you're at a comedy show. And you're a little self-conscious. You're like, man, my laugh is crazy. Yeah. That is a, that's a gift, I would say. Oh, I like a, a freaky laugh, especially on a Chica and a, and Chico as well, on boys and girls. <laughs> now, if you're at a I mean, funeral you're like, and you have a weird cry, that's something to work on. Oh. Right. Well, you remember when they threw dirt on my grandma and then the guy in the back row went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> on her casket it kind of made such a loud thud he went oh god <laughs> he was disturbed by how yeah. loud, how loud it was yeah no well they buried her extra deep that. by the way we bury people six feet deep my fucking head's gonna be sticking up oh right that's the problem you want to be you want to be vertically you want to be leaned up against the because that's hello hello can we start burying people with spatial efficiency by now jesus right how is it taking me we don't build skyscrapers side to side well i've said this many times but especially in new york city where it there there's a uh squeeze on space okay Mm -hmm. it's a very populous city then why are there fucking acres and acres of cemeteries from people that died in 1850 bulldoze it that's enough. There, there should be a law that's like a, a grave has like a hundred year period. And then yeah. after that, it can be 
built into targets and you know Dave and Buster. Right. Is, I got right. a good idea. Alamo, here. I want I want it to be one giant Alamo draft house. Every every grave, <laughs> yeah, a giant forty eight <laughs> cinema. Alamo I want to get Wahlburger house. up in there. Wahlburger, a Bally's casino. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Here's how easy it is. It's a, a grave is for people to visit. So if people aren't visiting a grave, you should have to go and like refill it like a fucking parking parking spot. Right. And if you're not filling it for one generation, a whole generation doesn't touch it. Okay. Well, it. okay. Well, let's let's maybe the cousins will show up. No, nope, nobody shows up. Okay. At this point, right, right, this right. is basically a stone of rock. I got a question. Um, after you're buried, right? This is what happens when you pass away. If you choose to be not cremated, you get buried. Or How frozen. How long does it take? Right, or frozen. Like As my brother the demands the rest of our family. He hmm. wants everybody to be cryogenically. My brother is working on... Convincing us to be cryogenic in prison. Well, real quick, but Eric, you can get back to this, but the, you know the conspiracy about Walt Disney being frozen? What about what about it? You know how his head was frozen? Yeah. Apparently. I don't know if this is true. But that's the reason why they created the movie Frozen. So that when you Google Disney <gasps> Frozen, <gasps> what comes up? No, bruh. This is a high thought. <laughs> no, no, oh, I'm so, that's, and the thing and is, that's I'm what, sober right now. <laughs> I'm sober. I'm sober. Dude, I'm gonna drop what, the nicotine, you, bro. You know what, dude? You scare me when you're sober, dude. When you're thinking crystal clear, <laughs> that's when you freak my ass out because your thoughts go to places I didn't know anyone could. When the ocean that's of thought is crystal clear is when you can see the monsters that lurk beneath. Oh my God, Jack! Jesus! Damn! <laughs> Something about the seven-hour road trip, really staring. I think staring at the road for seven hours straight, and then going straight onto a microphone, is kind of like my consciousness was just like factory reset. My phone was overheating, and yeah. I just turned it off, and now I'm like ready to. It's like participate. like mental retention, almost like semen retention, except mental retention. <laughs> you get it? That's what being why being stupid is so powerful because in small and bursts you're busting you can, mentally right now. Mm-hmm. Mental combustion. Mental combustion. I had an interesting mental idea. Mental busting. Uh. Can I bust uh, mentally? Uh. <laughs> I can't remember. What are we talking about? Well, wait, Eric. Where were you going with the fr- the fr- uh, oh the frozen yeah shit? I cut you off. I'm sorry. I was talking about what? Frozen? Frozen. You were talking about uh, oh, oh, freezing. I just, I just, I know, you know this. You guys know this about me. I know people who have died. All right. right. Not a lot of people can say that. I know people <laughs> who have passed away. Too many people. Passed a certain way. Passed in a certain way. Away. And you got to wonder, what do their bodies look like now? It's like, if, if. You got the formaldehyde up in you. You did an open casket. What does your body look like five years on? You know what I mean? Could we still recognize the our loved ones who passed? Or would they just be skeletons? Or would they be sort of Indiana Jones-style crypt uh, corpses where their faces are all brown and sunken in yeah, and uh, skin like paper? Well, it depends how well you know your relative's bones if you could... Right. Well, I know. Oh, there's yeah, that right. bone. I remember they got that surgery that they got that rod in there. That's them. What do, so I just look up like five year old corpse? <laughs> yeah, just Google that. Maybe yeah, go to yeah, like a dark, that. dark internet. What do they call that? The uh, dark, web? dark web. Right. Dark internet. <laughs> oh. No, I think that corpses rot very quickly. I think it, I think it's quicker than you think. What makes you know uh, that, Nate? What makes no, you so no sure of that, man? No reason at all. No reason. No reason at all. Let's move. By on. the way, can we finish this podcast hey, early? Yo. The topic of thievery. What's up, Eric? Hey, yo. Oh, well, I just looked up embalmed body of a man. This guy was <laughs> embalmed, so they say, but he looks fucked up. Embalms world. Ooh. Oh, oh. You know Go, what I a, love? Yeah. What? I love. You know the you know the mummified Inca child. Yep. 
No. You guys know no, this? I actually don't. I don't. You don't know the mummified. No, I'm sharing it right now. And, and don't be afraid to look. I'm sharing it in the chat right now. Look what at the? this child. Oh. This child is mummified hundreds of years ago, sacrificed. Somehow it was mum- she was mummified. D- Let me see wow. it. Wow. Describe it to me. Is it like a? It looks oh damn brand new or like what? It looks bad. Well, she you know looks mum mum me fied pretty much, but she's just chilling, legs crossed. She's wearing clothes. Sure, her hair looks good. Yeah, she looks like she could be was entombed in a small chamber. Oh shit, they fucked some of these kids up. I've Jesus. seen this person in Toronto. Right. That's the fashion there. Wait, what? How do you guys want to like? What? What is your process you want to happen uh, for your death? Like, do you want to be cremated? Do you want to? What? What do you guys want for your sky, sky burial in Fort Greene Park? Sky, <laughs> what is a sky? A sky burial? Do you know what this is? A sky burial? You basically <laughs> no. leave your body out for the birds to pick, pick apart. Oh. <laughs> 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 and that's yeah. legal to do uh no it's illegal actually sky burials the Times square sky burial <laughs> Times square. that's how i want to go the salesforce building sky burial <laughs> i want to be medium rare a sky burial is a funeral practice in which a human corpse is placed on a mountaintop to decompose while exposed to the elements or to be eaten by scavenging animals, especially carry-on birds. And we all know what a carry-on bird is, like vultures or, or corv. What the hell is a corvid? That's a car. Mm. Here's what you, we ought to do with some of these bodies while we are at it. Why don't we give them a little live stream and GoPro, put them in an astronaut suit, and launch these bastards out there. And see if a civilization don't catch them and bring them back to life half alien, half human, and have that corpse return to Earth and become king or queen and let mm-hmm. them yeah. rule us to a new That's a great idea. style of civilization. See what I'm saying? See what Body Eric's saying? Po- and then that could uh, block out the sun to reduce the uh, uh, the, the warming. UV rays, right. Right? It's just a body's like, kind of Dude. in the atmosphere. Nate, comedy Damn. special. There's a glory yeah. hole in the ozone. Okay, so it's satirical, of course, <laughs> right? But there is a large, large political message which goes right beneath the satire, which is going to take what Al Gore tried to do with the invention of lying, whatever it was called, inconvenient truth, rather, and it's going to commercialize it in a way where the message will be received. That's where Al Gore messed up. Mm-hmm. Didn't make it relatable. Can you imagine seeing a video of if if Al Gore had done one of those videos where they clap the booty cheeks without you put you put your hands in the air so that you're not clapping and you just smack them things together? (laughs) Imagine if Al Gore was doing that. You You know, Gore Al Gore was at them freak offs. There's no question there. (laughs) For sure. Yeah, he's doing the bar. He's running the bar. (laughs) Pouring drinks. Nah, that's nothing. I'm not gonna laugh at Diddy. that. Diddy, but oh, here's a message for Diddy. Your time has come, man. We've been, <laughs> we, me, us, and Cat Williams have been praying on your downfall for many years, <laughs> and we orchestrated much of this. So to everyone that was at those parties, we know. We just fucking know, and it's not cool. That's not funny, and it, it's game over right now. I, right. unless you're innocent, and then unless you're innocent, our bad. Then, but so yeah, that's not likely. Bad. It seems. You know Have what you, we need to be hosting in the future is respectful sort of ce- celebrity parties where you think, you know, I feel like these parties are now getting a bad rap where everyone's wearing all white or something like that. And there's these back rooms. We need to have the like, no, there's no, there's nothing, you know, bad happening maybe we have like cameras everywhere but in the sense that it's like everyone can see them so it's like you can see in every room so you know like nothing crazy is going down but then we delete the t- tapes afterwards or something <laughs> something like that 
If I go to one of these parties, I'm doing open carry, full AR-15, <laughs> scoped up. If I see you doing something wrong, I'm doing my justice right there and then. Mm. And you're at like everybody the, better you're be at like the right. comedy bang bang, like yeah. <laughs> Christmas party <laughs> <laughs> with an AR-15 and a Bluetooth speaker attached to my bulletproof vest. Imagine, because you know, Gotta remember that bread. episode of Punked? The episode of Punked where they kidnapped Brad Pitt? No, that's not right. It was Jack. That was <laughs> Jackass or something. Steve-O kidnapped Brad Pitt. Basically, what I'm Why? saying is, I don't is, remember this. There's a, basically, if they were if they brought Punked back right now, and they did like a fake kidnapping right in front of you, and you just take a fucking pistol out and just execute <laughs> fucking Dak Shepard on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like legally they can't touch you. They couldn't be. They couldn't touch you. It's a free body. If you Some, notice that you're on boiling points or one of those reality shows, and you kind of clock it, you see one of the production designers body. walking around. Boiling points. Yeah, or scare tactics. Yeah. yeah. Good luck Dude. scaring. Oh, my you ass. know they're bringing. I don't bringing get scared. Back, I get even. They're bringing back scare tactics. <laughs> I know, <laughs> bro. Ever been made. I know. It's. Yeah, I know. Holy shit. They better honor. They better fucking honor fucking original and don't fucking shy out dude the original i probably said this again the, they had actually no i'm not gonna say this but they're it's crazy um what because i'm really realizing one of the stunts you just like definitely could not do to that, <laughs> <laughs> that i was gonna describe what was it, man? i'm not gonna don't, don't it, cancel that man go watch and uh on YouTube, and you could probably guess which one it is. Have we discussed? Oh, you're talking this? about the one with a guy, run, that one guy running around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. Would you guys prank me if given the chance? Do you want us yeah, to? Yeah, I would. Would you be? Well, this is what I want to say. Let me reframe it. Would you betray me? Oh wow! Because that's what you just said. You would do both of you in the name now. of humor. Pranking is not betraying. Pranking is a sign of. Uh, uh, symbol of love retrain care about someone to make them laugh right that's not how i see it all right the line in the sand has been drawn i see I see what's <laughs> up. well um just which one of us do you think would react best to getting pranked extremely <laughs> and violently <laughs> Joy Tactics. Yo, let me yeah. do a quick shout out to the Thieves Guild from Oblivion, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls games. Okay. Uh, the Gray Fox or whatever. That was the most funnest guild to be a part of, stealing all that shit. I don't regret one minute I spent in the Thieves Guild. And I wish that shit was real in real life. I wish there was a real Thieves Guild. Can you imagine being boys with your boys, Ocean's Eleven style, and just stealing from a casino, all <laughs> crazy style? How fun that would be. You know, we'll just never get. Or you to remember feel that this emotion. when people would just like a heist. You know what I'm saying? Like a jewel, yeah. the queen's jewel. Oh shit! That sounds fun. I love a heist. The queen's delicious jewel. I did a. I did um. This is. <laughs> I did some pranking that I regret in my lifetime. Probably a lot. I would say too much. I've done too much. Too many pranks in my life. But pre YouTube pranking. Um, and we had kind of a heist and, oh, Eric's frozen. That's okay. We had kind of a heist, uh, on my last night of school in North Carolina where we took all the benches and we kind of put them all over people's houses and stuff, put benches that were in public and put them on people's houses and stuff. And it was fun kind of. We were all looking around, scouting, sitting on corners with phones, telling, okay, go, you got, you're clear, go get that bench. Eric just got kicked off the Zoom. Uh, but <laughs> that was This feels fun so good because a... I'm, the, I'm oh. always the person who gets, has internet connectivity issues. And, you know, it feels good that this is like not just me, you know. You pass it on to me. You pass the curse along. Oh, you, God, you're back. You infect, Jesus you Christ. Inf you infected my Wi Fi somehow. I know you did something. <laughs> <laughs> Virus By the way, my spread. shit still hasn't been fixed. By the Ronald way, Spectrum. Maligna? Ronald Spectrum. I'm still texting him, man. No updates. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. Let's just but talk Jack, about... But, Jack, you're... you're 
Huh? You, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you were, you were talking about your epic uh, bench re- redistribution prank. We had replaced these benches into interesting locations, um, but that was a bit fun to be on the to be doing that. Um, but it's interesting how you can feel bad about that stuff later, because you think, oh, Ocean's Eleven, that is so cool that they did that. But when you think about the actual working people who are being inconvenienced by these behaviors you know you start right. to you start to think twice about george clooney and his gang of inconveniencing fools an inconvenient fool that's what they should call that movie that's what they should call criminals inconvenient fool. <laughs> by the way if the oceans guys were not all fucking sexy as hell we'd hate them if they were all fugly we would say mm-hmm. stop doing that shit and give the money back <laughs> to terry what's his name from the Bellagio Casino, Terry Crews. You know they they got lucky because they're fucking fine as hell. That's how it always goes in life. <laughs> it's fucking so annoying. It is so. Annoying. I know hot people privilege. Hot people privilege. And Literally I know getting road rage. We've been running on that shit for a while. Trust me. Pretty pretty. Oh, privileged. oh yeah. I got yeah. I got the getaway free card. Yeah. Doing road <laughs> rage and getting out of the car. Someone gets mad at me. I step out, whip my fucking hair Oops. around, <laughs> hit him with the blue steel. Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> Good luck being mad at me. Good luck. Uh, well, have you guys ever stolen? What are some things that you guys have stolen in your life? Goods. What have I, I've stolen a lot from Whole Foods. Yeah, I I think I I'm like pro stealing actually. I mean, not it's not like weird, but I think it's like why not? You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Who ca- I, I feel like I could convince a jury to like be on my side with literally any sort of theft. Like you just get me on the stand and I'd be like, "What do you got? What do we, what, it's me against who? Fucking Best Buy? You guys are gonna defend Best Buy right now instead well, of me? You're gonna put you're me at, in jail for life? I for, know you're asking my me arson attempts. Grandmas and grandpas, no, no problem." <laughs> <laughs> well, who are the grandpas? Are they horrible grandpas? Well, grandfathers? they're former Nazis. That's right. when you. That's when you are forgiving Nate. Stealing from a Nazi. Well, you guys know Oops. me. I've got the. I've got the the lower back tattoo. Property is theft. Okay, right next to my DSA <laughs> profile. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> on your tattooed on you. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! So you know my take on that's this. That's awesome. I'm basically a left leftist. Basically, take one look at me, and go, nah, that's even too far left for me. I'm out. We're so far left that we're starting to go 360 back to right you know, far right. That's how left we're, we <laughs> are. I'm literally just barely omnidirectionally <laughs> political. Okay, that's the Omni Party. My views are you going in all I, directions. I was like. Hmm? Where where are we at political the political climate right now? Let's get a temperature read right now because I think people want to know. People come to us for political news and political updates. I kind of feel like uh, Donald Trump, like before, for the last few months, you know, post uh, assassination attempt, like the couple week after, I was like, oh shit, of course Donald Trump's gonna fucking win. There's no joke. And then Kamala got another involved, guy did it, and I was like, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, another well, th- the first one. And then I was like, all right, this feels like I feel like she's going to win this one. And now I'm like, I don't know. I feel like Donald Trump might win. What do you guys think? <laughs> Tap in now. Eric, well, you have 20 seconds. <laughs> I think it's I think it's Kamala. You think so? Yeah, I just do. I think it is. Oh man, I think I'm but gonna be. Getting, when is the election? November first. Am I frozen? Some somewhere around there. Yeah. Did you oh, see what she was no- on Oprah though? And she was like, if someone, if she's like, if someone breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I believe that. You know that's legal. You can do that. Right. I know. My dad told I'm just, me that. I'm fucking waiting for it. <laughs> Huh. Ban. Um, I was gonna say stop the murder, please. Stop murder now, please. I'm very. I think. What What are you looking at, Jack? I'm very nervous. About what? 
Well, well, you realize that we have uh, maybe one seeing eye oracle in existence anymore. His Who name is, is Nate Silver. Okay. <laughs> and I'm looking at what he's saying, and it's making me want to start packing saying, my bags. Bro? He says, "No, oh hell, people nah. should be making their contingency plans like right away." Okay. He is saying he is speaking upon the probability of Trump returning, and oh hell nah. See, I think there's some. I, I really like. You know, I've never not predicted a presidential candidate. I've always been right since Bill Clinton in 1994 or whatever. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've had a streak that. since I was born. You know that, right? Every single one. Yeah. So I'm 100% hit ratio, and my gut, I'm just following my gut with right now with, with the temperature because I'm all across the country. I'm talking to people. I'm talking to real Americans and their views, and it's pointing me in – and Donald Trump barely though barely it's going to be a fight okay I'm not telling you it's going to be easy but I think he might win fuck so get out there and man and might I add unfortunately if you got your $27 $2700 you know start using that thing I'm not going to say on who but $27 for what right for what, what is For what? What are you saying? <laughs> is this like another like up doc? Uh, what's up doc? Shit. Is this what's about up, about are you, are you like this? what's up doc? <laughs> <laughs> am I am I having a stroke? What about that? Is, what do you what's mean? The, what's the twenty seven dollar thing? What's the Act Blue donation number? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't have that I'm memorized. Not. I don't know about that, but I trust what you what you're saying. No, I fear this might be one of my moments where I'm speaking incorrectly. This will go it's in the okay. highlight reel. That's never it's happened okay. before. Um, I'm tired of speaking publicly. I know we can't. I'm literally starting to clam up because I feel like I'm saying too much about my own life. Like sometimes I get to the end of the podcast and I'm like, I'm letting people in too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> they want like, that area. What, once in a while, I zoom out, and I'm like, damn, I'm fucking laying this shit bare for the whole world to see. <laughs> Y'all want to see some pants I'm I bought? To point now. Yeah. Talking about <laughs> favorite types of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you disappeared. The rose pants. That's sick. Okay. Where'd you get those? I got those at Savers today on the road trip. Savers? So that's just an interesting piece of clothing that I saw. But I, I need some new ass clothes right now. We need to go shopping, dude. <laughs> How about in Drive. Milan? How about in Milan when they go there? Is that <laughs> where Milanos are from? Yeah, that's where they invented them. I'd like to try those one day. Damn, I remember my mom used to have her friends over for a book club, and they'd always have them damn ass Milanos. And I, oops, I'd have a little few too many and get my mom all mad at me. Sorry. My mom used to make us sugar cookies for breakfast before school. Is that normal? That's just delicious. Put a little. And then we I would like say we were, I like snickerdoodle. Those oh, are delicious. When's as the last well? time you had a, a snickerdoodle? A homemade snickerdoodle. Oh, yeah. Shit. A snickerdoodle in the land before time, before Too laying it down with your girl. From one of them yeah. ladies at church that's got like the fucking vet tech haircut, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Uh huh. They mm -hmm. really put it down with this with the snickerdoodles. Oh yeah, I like food. I like food so. too. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so shout out all thieves. If you're thie if you're thieving for a good reason like Robin Hood, we're rocking with you. If you're an evil thief, like Martin Shkreli the bastard, who we all literally, I'm gonna take out Martin Shkreli <laughs> then we don't respect you we just don't so just he whoop your you, ass what's that Martin Shkreli I go to take out Martin Shkreli he stops me with one he, he punch, does a one you, punch dude. kill <laughs> <laughs> but I think we should move on to joy I mean let's fucking do it for, to be honest All right, let's just do it I can rip this thing because I have an answer with regards to what gave me joy in this episode, it's going to be the song Area Codes by Ludacris. 
Uh, I've got hoes. Hoes. In different area codes. Area. Area co- cones. Thank you, hose. Nate. Oh. <laughs> but specifically. It's not ringing a bell. Specifically. You don't know that song? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I've got hoes. Are you serious, Eric? I don't With think you guys are singing it right. 503-602-709. Well, this is exactly what I was going to say is what specifically <laughs> part of the song. The whole song gives me immense joy, frankly, because he's saying, you know, every day is a holiday. Stop the violence. Put away. Put the. Four, oh, put, yeah, this is so inappropriate. Ludicrous. Put the 4-4 four, four away. Skeet shoot a hoe today. See this? Oh, all right. hell no. That's no, not the part that gave me joy. That's not the part that gave me joy. But you know what? I just, did give, no, okay. no. All right. So the outro, though, this is what gave me joy. Okay. It goes like this. This is the lyrics. Ha ha ah. 216-702-414-317214. And the 281s, 334205s. I see y'all. 318s, 601s, 20804402301904407850. Now that's a verse. That's yep. a verse. That's a verse. If you can say that many digits yep. in one. That's a historical moment in hip hop. Mm-hmm. When Ludacris stopped doing, it's a it's akin to you saying like just explain yourself in numbers, you know, comment with a your feedback in numerical format, you know. Ludacris has so already done it with numbers. He really is ludicrous. <laughs> He's out of his mind. Remember when he Shout drank that glacier Nate, water? Uh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, I would love okay, to have a cherry stem tie and race with Ludacris with my tongue. Here's what gave me joy this week. This song, I've been listening to it a lot. Musical week. Ooh, I like this. They just don't make them like this anymore. You know what I mean? Well, they can't because of the death. Because that guy died. Damn. Imagine stealing some shit to that. (laughs) Wow. Wow. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Breathe. I like that shit. What is that? Is that in a movie? That song that feels I, like a it opening feels Jason Bourne ending. To me. It it's feels a lot of movies. Very yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Bourne. A lot of things feel Jason Bourne to me. Rat race. <laughs> um, all right, so "Breathe" by the Prodigy gave me joy. Nate, what about you? Dude? I'll say, um, just to bring it back to thievery. Um, you know, there was a moment in which I thought that I would have to get a new car today. And I was kind of looking up all these different vehicles. And, um, yeah, I was just I was just entranced in the thought of getting that new whip. And I was, like, looking up some, some fucking Volvos, you know. Oh, shit. Some where mo- where some, were you looking for the cars? I was looking all over the fucking place on Craigslist, <laughs> CarGurus, Cars.com. Ooh, car Car I Auto Trader. I was on fucking um, uh, Carvana. I was on every fucking app, dude. CarMax. I was just checking out the market. And you know what? I, I found a car that runs on hydrogen. The oh, Toyota you're talking about Mirai. the Toyota Mirai. Runs like, on hydrogen? Fu- how do you even... How do you even yeah. like a fish? Wh- 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 when did I miss this? That uh, cars are running on hydrogen. Well, they're not. That's and why they're so fill cheap. That is because it's because it's so unpopular. It's th- th- those are the newest, cheapest cars because they tried something and it didn't really pop off. So that's and why so I was now, seeing them because they're yeah, so they're they were they were everywhere. I was cheap. like, what the? F- yeah. Can a car wow. run on every we shout anything, out to Toyota? Everything? We could try. Burn I mean, it? we could try it. If you try to unlock unlimited energy, though, you're going to unlock your you head will from die. your body. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they will come for your ass and kill you. It, <laughs> the aliens have been trying to give it to us for years, and that's why they're hiding UFOs. They've hidden the ultimate gift of free energy. Just know that your government's hiding that from you so that they can party on yachts, get fucked up, and have sex with each other all the time. All right? That's what they're up to. <laughs> that's what your government's doing. You can't steal from you can't steal something from you can't steal something from somebody that has nothing left. That's all I have to say to the government. Okay. <laughs> so and go that's ahead. all three of us. That's basically, and that's been us for years. Mm-hmm. Why do I feel like Eric? You've you've studied the, you know that Da Vinci drawing where it's oh, like the, the Fibonacci's guy royal sequence. 
<laughs> Fibonacci's royal sequence. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! The Is royal that what it's sequence. Called? <sighs> it's called the Fibonacci sequence. No, that's the movie adaptation. <laughs> the guy that's the guy that's like the naked dude that Da Vinci drove. Mm, I actually don't know what the Fibonacci. You know, sequence if you. Is. I know that He's, guy. That's of not the Fibonacci I sequence? I dream. I, every night, my dreams are just a picture of that. And I, there's no movement in the dreams. It's just a, I'm studying that fucking <laughs> picture all night in my dreams. <laughs> Since I was Having eight. no movement in a dream is really funny. Dreaming in. Just a picture. Uh, <laughs> Screensaver of that. Yeah. <laughs> are I, we going to study at some ancient. Uh, we need to go to some ancient ruins in Europe. Dude, I think we should do the podcast from uh, the forum from mm. one of the wow. ruins we have to that's smart we need yeah. to be studying tablets and ancient structures while we're in europe and multiplication and we should work out yes oh i'm getting back on that workout thing very soon be beware okay guys uh i love you i don't i've never said this on the show but i love you guys <laughs> i'm Whoa. happy to be doing this thing keeping it going um, big of you to say that nate and i have a show next sunday at permanent records oh, yeah, yeah. called spiritualizations mel welch kate o'connor chris fleming eric rail nate verone the it's gonna, and it's gonna be crazy as fuck spoiler alert if you live in new york and you thought the light had died just know that there's a spark bubbling at union hall on november oh, no nope, october 17th i believe oh, new shiz, theoretical monthly me. show with jack bensinger which is to be titled. So what's funny is. So and guess what? You heard it here first. No one's no one else is doing it like this. Monthly shows with different stand ups on them. No, no one's doing it like that anymore, except for us. Mm-hmm. Um all right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. That's it. Peace out. Cheers. Well, that concludes another incredible fucking episode of Joy Tactics. Head over to patreon.com slash joy tactics to unlock exclusive weekly bonus episodes. And make sure to follow us on social media where we post fire TikToks and hilarious shit like that. And if you loved the shit you just listened to make sure to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. Thanks for listening and remember, we are shaped by our thoughts, we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves.